everyone. The little craft fairy here. We're going to do something very exciting today. Now this is about my, I would say, third time doing this. We are going to learn how to sub acrylic. So here is an example of a piece that I just did. And we're going to actually practice um, using um, acrylic. So the interesting thing about acrylic is, you know, everybody, it's plastic, well, it's kind of like a plasticky type of material. Um, but yes, it can be subbed. So to get started, here I'll give you a list of what you need. You'll need to preheat your press to about 350, um, and it's important to use a piece of frosted acrylic. Now that's a huge thing because I have tried other acrylics. This was not frosted, it was just a colored acrylic. Um, the problem with non-frosted is it gets rid of the sheen, as you can see on one side. It's shiny on the other side where it's been subbed. The sheen is gone. So more ideal, especially if you're going to do this for business purposes, to use something that has a frosting to it. I'd like to mention Dang Designs. That's not me. I'm the little craft fairy. But Dang Designs, thank you very much for giving us these pieces to try out. Um, I get my acrylics from them. And they offer, they know about this. So they'll definitely give you the frosted that you need to actually do your acrylic pieces. So we're going to start today with, I'm going to actually sub this unicorn I'm going to make a bookmark keychain for my daughter. Um, they all come, all the acrylic pieces come with um, a protective coating. Now when you're subbing, you're going to be subbing the frosted side. So it's very important for you to know that you will not be mirroring your image. Make sure that you don't mirror your image. If you're like me and you sub a lot, we've already probably preset our printing to mirrored. Um, but you'll have to remember not to do that because when you actually put your image on, it's going to be facing the correct way because you'll be subbing in reverse. Okay, so I'm just going to peel off the opposing side here and we'll get started. Okay, so I've peeled off my my coating there, that piece of paper that um, Dang Designs puts on their acrylics to protect them. Now the reason I'm wearing gloves is, guess what, acrylic, very difficult to remove any of the oils and dirt and debris and when you sub you know that dirt, debris, lint, everything else can leave issues on your substrate. So I'm wearing gloves so I don't have to wipe it and first and second of all because it is a frosted surface um, really hard to wipe and keep clean. Okay so and then I have my image already printed um, so here it is and this is pretty much how it should end up looking on the design once it's been subbed. Now I make my own templates, very easy to do. Um, I will kind of give you an idea of how to do that um, with a picture that I'll show you. Now it's going to be like this. I do an offset to make sure that my image is a little bit bigger so when it subs, it subs really nicely. And then you have a little bit of play. Now when I cut my images, I don't cut them all the way to the edge. The reason for that is how we have to tape. Taping acrylic pieces is important. This is not unlike other pieces where you can just tape wherever you want. Acrylic, you actually need to kind of only tape the edge. Because the acrylic will melt a little bit. And if you put the tape on the acrylic, it's going to melt the tape, the tape um, imprint. And then you're acrylic piece will actually not come out if you tape the imprint. Now it's a little bit tricky. You don't have to tape much. You just have to tape enough that it's going to keep it from shifting, which is what we want to do with the tape. We don't want things to shift. That's why we tape, right? Um, so I'm going to tape it like that. So it looks like that. And you can see it's only the edges that are actually taped on. And we're going to sub it. Now when you sub, Important thing to note, I've already made this mistake, flat piece of paper that's never been used. Paper or your blow up paper, doesn't matter, I'm using paper. Um, and then an, also on top, another piece of flat paper. Do not use burnout paper you've used before. I made that mistake and actually wrinkled my acrylic because it will melt a little bit. So that's important. And another key piece of information because it is gonna melt slightly um, I actually to once I remove my image um, my a sub paper after it's been sublimated I actually take a pack of paper I have a pack of paper here and I put it on top and the reason for that here's my pack of paper Sorry, everybody 
The reason for that is because when it goes, when it cools down and takes its shape again, you want it to be flat. So I'll show you that process. Okay, so let's get subbing. Um, I have my heat press at 350 and I'm going to be doing it for about 40, 45 seconds. Okay, okay we're coming up on being done almost. Here we are. It looks good, but you see how it's kind of a little bit on the soft side. So that's when I take my piece of paper here and I just put it on top and let it sit for a bit until it cools. Not piece of paper, sorry, pack of paper. Um, if it's heavy enough. I leave it there probably for about five minutes because the press obviously gives off a lot of heat. So we'll come back in five minutes to show you the end result. Okay, five minutes later, here is our end result here, our subbed product. Okay, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, you can see it still has the sheen of the acrylic. And the key for that is temperature. I did run a few tests and the max temperature you should be using is 350. Any higher than that, you will get rid of that nice shiny surface. So um, I'm actually going to try at 340 and see if the colors still come through. Because obviously with acrylic, because it has a tendency to melt, you want to make sure that uh, temperature-wise we keep it to a, a bare minimum. But there you go. There you have it. Okay, being able to sub acrylic is... A total game changer for me it's just it's fun and it's simple I don't really like doing vinyl but um, this is a nice way to still use acrylics and be able to sub them thanks for watching